guys, it's me, the Witch of the Wilderness, and this is a, another video in my Witchcraft and Wicca series, and it's all about Sabbath Beltane. So, yeah, let's talk about this Sabbath. So, Beltane is a festival of flowers, fertility, joy it's the first of may if you live in the northern hemisphere and it is one of the four great sabbats in the wheel of the year and the second fire festival so it falls in the midpoint between ostara and letha so beltane is all about celebrating fertility, the fertility of land due to the longer days, the new life being born. It's also a very common day to get hand fasted. If you're a pagan, it's the most common day of the year for the hand fasting ceremonies between a woman couple to take place. So there are some really common ways in which you can celebrate Beltane. So you could make crowns of flowers, fresh flowers, wildflowers that you've picked, make them into crowns, put them in your hair, bonfires as well, with it being a fire festival. And on top of this, I'm not recommending that you do this, but in, there is a tradition where if you jump over the fire and make a wish, it will come true. And also another one, that if you jump over the fire, then the next year, if your wish was to become pregnant, then, you know, you will have a baby by the next year. So, yeah, um, I'm not suggesting to jump over a fire, though. Please do not message me saying... I jumped over the fire and now I've got third degree burns and you know that's not my fault I am not recommending at all to jump over a Beltane fire if you want to do something that won't land you in A&E you could leave fairy offerings outside Beltane which is also known as May Day is also known as Fairy Day because it's a good day to be able to communicate with the Fae so if you do work with the Fae, then leaving them an offering outside on Beltane would just be great. You can also dress your altar and your home and your personal space up with ribbons, brighter the better. Anything that makes you feel happy, you know, yellows, reds, like the colours of the maypole. Obviously, maple dancing is another huge part of Beltane. It's just where people can get together. It's all, you know, community spirit and being happy. Um, people actually get quite crafty. I've seen on Facebook and Instagram a few people have made about, probably about that big, but little mini maples with ribbons and they sit them on the altar and they can twirl them into different parts. Oh, they look great. So obviously if you're a bit of a crafty person, then perhaps make a little maple to sit on your altar. Red and white candles as well are key for Beltane. So red indicates the passion and the white would indicate the purity. So having those on your altar or around your home is another really good way of celebrating Beltane. And lighting incense, so vanilla or rose incense or cat scented candles as well. That's another way in which you can celebrate Beltane. You can plant seeds and bulbs, things that will encourage, you know, the birds, the bees, nature, you know, just give it a helping hand, give it a little boost. On your altar you could also have little baskets with painted eggs, flowers that you've picked inside, you know. So yeah, that's about everything I can think of to do with Beltane. So until the next video, bye!